here's the 1959 Motorola radio and uh, this radio has been in operation probably for about a year August 1982 uses this as the uh, sound amplifier for his computer and also we've used it as, as a radio as well but uh, it quit working recently and I found that the fuse had blown I think it had just blown due to a power surge it was barely melted so I decided to use a slow blow 1.5 amp fuse in there just to eliminate the fuse blowing on a on a nuisance uh, a nuisance surge but if there was any prolonged overload it would blow and also I had a bad wire wound resistor there was a ceramic resistor where one of the leads had broken off of it just due to heat when I first repaired this I resoldered it back on but apparently there just wasn't enough of the lead to make a permanent connection so I bought a uh, new 3000 ohm 10 watt resistor to replace that old resistor. Also I got a new 60A5 tuning indicator tube uh, or mullard from ESRC1 vacuum tubes and I got some other new tubes as well for some radios that have been needing them for a long time including this one, this Arvin, I think it needs an 18 GD6 I had substituted in a 19HS6, but I think the original tube would make it work even better. And uh, also I got some 12BN6 tubes for a Sarx Tarzian FM radio that I've had ever since I was a kid. But I put in the 60A5 tube here and it glows really well, it responds well. One problem I had while repairing it was with the AM oscillator coil. I tried to get the oscillator coil out of here so I could tighten up the bolts on the AM tuning capacitor, but when I took it out, it ended up coming out of the mounting bracket. And there's actually a little wire up in there that needs to be grounded that goes from the coil to ground, and it grounds through the chassis mounting connection. And so initially when I put it back together, I didn't have any AM reception. So I went ahead and soldered an external wire on to that little coil wire there and connected it to ground just to make sure I'd get a good ground connection on it because for some reason this this part of the coil ended up coming out of its, of its holder. I pressed it back in and now I have a good ground connection to it. So let me demonstrate how the 60A5 tuning eye works and then I'll reassemble the radio and put it back in its cabinet. I've got it hooked up now to one of the test speakers. Turn the light off here. You notice the 60A5 shadow, the, the two bars of light get closer when you tune in. That's kind of a weaker signal. Here's AM. Let's see if we've got any AM reception. Oh, I don't don't have one of the leads hooked up to the uh, loop antenna. Let's I'm gonna put the alligator clip lead back on here. And now we sh should have some AM. The greatest form of mortification on earth. How much suffering yourself? I think what it does is it saves you from yourself. You look at the example. Of I don't get as much deflection of the tuning eye on AM for some reason. Now I'll put it back in its cabinet because I think I got all the problems fixed on it. And then we can get it hooked back up to Organist 1982's computer. Sometimes we'd, en sometimes we'd end up leaving it on uh, all day. Sometimes it got left on for uh, a whole week at a time. So it's really past the heat test. Although with that resistor and, and fuse failing. I think it was just due to just due to a lot of use. So this new slow blow fuse ought to prevent the a nuisance fuse blow. 
here's the reassembled Motorola radio. I polished this escutcheon with Noxon brand metal polish. There was a lot of tar and nicotine on there. And uh, also I polished the center parts of the knobs with the Noxon. And that really cleaned them up. The Noxon seemed to remove tar and nicotine almost instantly from these uh, metal pieces on here. So let's check the performance now. Turn the light off here. It's a medium strength station. Let's start with com for details and system limitations. B93 is giving you the number one. Number one. Party on the patio. It's gonna be a party, y'all. It's, it's back every Thursday at Cabana. That's what's up. Come get your party, party. With 93 cent margaritas from 6 to 8 p.m. Plus you this summer. Rebecca. Thank you. Talking to Scott Emerson, not about rocks, paper, scissors, but rather about Anthony. <laughs> Good focus. Let's try FM with a really strong station. Listen, when you break a clasp on your necklace, oh great! And need it repaired? Occasions is there for you. Would you find a fabulous engagement ring at a price you can afford? Occasions is there for you. And when the price of gold shoots up higher than it's ever been, whoa! 